morning in folks uh, it's a beautiful day I've just been down at the lockup to do some work um, and I'm going to try and find somewhere to take you like say it could be a drone no I haven't even said that have I I only thought it anywho it could be a drone video it could be a walk in the woods it could be a walk in the park it could be a walk to the beach I don't know yet or it could be all of them anywho we're back um i fetched you back to well, i'm looking over my shoulder i fetched you back to chopping woods um i've got the drone with me uh just for something to do see what we can see see if we can find something different from the last time we came and we can go to the farmer's fields at the back and have a fly around with the drone of the fields that have all just been harvested It's a really nice day today. Uh, it's 22, 23 degrees in September, which is good. In London, it's going to go up to 30. I think that's only ever happened once before in September. Pretty. I keep forgetting how long this path is. Still, nice day though. The line of stones has got a lot bigger. Sorry about my shadow. How awesome was that? Wow, it gets big every time I come. Having a little trek through the trees uh, to get to the farmer's fields at the other side. I've taken it this way before, uh, during the summer. But to be fair, it feels like quite a nice day of the day. It feels like quite a summery day. A uh, nice little bit of a cool breeze. But awesome, I like days like this. drawn out have a little fly around this field let me know what you think I'm not sure if you can hear it but can you hear all the gunfire machine guns tank fire Can you hear that? It's like thunder. There. There. Can you hear that? Or not? Or is it just me? That is actually Otterburn Rangers in the tanks. Can you hear it? Otterburn Rangers in the tanks and the aeroplanes on exercise about 30 mile that way or 40 mile that way and I can hear them plain as day here wow it's beautiful down these woods nice and peaceful it's so pretty 
Well, it looks like the UK is heading for a second peak of COVID, unfortunately. Uh, we're averaging about three and a half thousand a day and it's doubling every six days. So, uh, in six days time, we're going to be about 7,000 a day. 12 days time, we're going to be about 14,000 a day. New cases. It's not good, man. Let me know where you're from and how your country is dealing with COVID. Uh, are you getting on top of it? What sort of things are changing or is it getting worse? Let me know in the comments down below. One thing I know I don't want is another lockdown. I don't think anybody does. People need to stick to the rules though and if they don't want a lockdown. Because of COVID, I never got to take you guys to Thailand over Easter. Um, that was when I was first going to start doing videos and things like that. That was going to be my introduction to vlogging, uh, my introduction to you. So yeah, that got cancelled and we rebooked for next Easter. Currently, the Thai officials are not allowing any non-Thai people to get into the country. Um, what they're saying is possibly the second half of next year. And since I'm going the end of March, I have a feeling that's going to be cancelled too. Um, in Thailand, there's no homegrown cases of COVID. There hasn't been any homegrown cases of COVID for about three months now. Um, they're down to like two and three cases per day, sometimes none. And that's only Thai nationals returning back to Thailand from abroad. So it's not homegrown, it's imported. But what they're doing is, if you go to Thailand as a, home, as a national, um, you have to have two tests before you go. Uh, clear tests, one 24 hours before you go, one one week before you go. When you get there, you get put into a government ran hotel where you're locked in your room like prison uh, and you're there for two weeks quarantine whilst a security guard on that floor comes in and fetches your meals three times a day just like prison they're on about open up Phuket to tourists and that is the same system they're going to run so you have to have two clear tests and then go into quarantine for two weeks at £100 per person per night to sit in a hotel prison. So as we're due to go to Thailand in six months, um, as you can imagine, I'm keeping an eye on the news and I'll keep you informed whether or not we're going. Uh, the unfortunate part about it is Emirates have said that they will be flying to Thailand. And if the Thai government decides to put us in quarantine for two weeks, it's nothing to do with Emirates Airline and we won't get a refund or be able to change the flights. Guess time will tell. So there you go, chopping the woods again. Um, I'm pretty sweaty, I'm leaking. Uh, yeah, I'll put a link in the description down below for the drone footage and I'll put the photographs I've been taking whilst walking through the woods in.
I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that leaves me to say, I'll see you all tomorrow. Now it's time to do your job. <laughs>